We'll move to another another Friday night game, the Apple Cup. Washington State at Washington and the Huskies at home are a one-point underdog to the Cougars. They have not won this in years. What, six, seven years, something like that? I mean, it's been a long, long time. Uh, Leach's entire tenure in the Palouse did not get a win over the Huskies. Uh, but now, you know, you, you got the interim coach in, and I forget his name, Jake uh, Digger. Is that it? What's his name? Do you remember? You're way more on the news, man. I got my head in a spreadsheet. I don't know. I can't keep up with this crap. <laughs> the defensive coordinator, he's he's been really, really good since they let Rolo go. This team fights, man. Like, they love their coaching staff, and you look at what they are doing on defense. It is very impressive. Very, very impressive. Uh, but on the other side, I mean, Washington's defense, not too bad. Uh, yards per pass, Washington's number one. A part of that's because anybody that wants to run on them can do it. But on the other side, I mean, Washington State, number 84. In yards per rush, that's that's three point nine yards per rush on that. Uh, I would I'm going to go with the team that needs it more and the team that wants it more, and I'm going to go with Washington State because I don't think Washington gives a crap about anything right now. Like those players, it, they lost to Colorado last week, and that they could have gotten me my Colorado under right off the bat. But you you lose to Colorado this season, and you are not a good team to me. So I I will go with the road team on this. I'll take Washington State to win this. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to disagree with you, even though I hate to, because the the motivation factor is obviously something my numbers can't, but but I can't factor in. But I, I really think when you look at this game and get granular, because I, I have a friend who's a Washington State fan, he, he sent me a DM and said, what the heck is your projection on this game? No way, because I have Washington by five. I have wrong team favorite here, and I've got a good case for it, I think. Okay, so I would love to see this. Washington's... Washington uh, State's offense is 59th in early downs EPA. Washington is 70th on defense. So that's like they're both pretty average on early downs. On late downs, uh, Washington State is 29th. Really, really good. When you see a disparity like that, that tells me that a lot of their value that's making their offense look like 47th overall in EPA per play is coming on third downs. And then you look at their split early down rush rate, they're rushing 44.2% of the time, which is 17th most uh, or 17th least. They're, they're passing a ton on early downs, right? They're really spreading the ball out. Yeah, yeah. The only thing Washington's defense does well is passing on third downs. Like that's, that's it. And there's some selection issue there, but really the one strength of Washington state is they're extending drives on third downs and Washington's defense is 32nd on third and fourth down success. On the flip side, Washington, 36th on third and fourth down success on offense. Even though they're abysmal on offense, they have been better at getting those kind of third manageables. Washington State's offense is 90, or defense is 90th. So really big mismatches there. Long, convoluted numbers. Washington State's really good at passing on late downs. Washington's defense, that's maybe the only thing they're good at. And so that mismatch there has me favoring Washington. So here's one of the reasons why I'm going the opposite direction, and you can't, or at least you're not supposed to factor this in, but turnover margin. Washington State number 23 in the country, uh, Washington number 86. I'm kind of expecting some Washington turnovers, and in that in that regard, that will actually get Washington State more points uh, because you look at you know offensive success rate here, Washington State, number 61. In Washington's defense, you know, uh, number 83 in defensive success, uh, success rate. But uh, but offensive points per opportunity. You got Washington State at number 24. And, you know, Washington gives up points. I mean, they're number 68 on defense in that regard. Yeah, I, you, you, you're giving me something to think about here, obviously. I, I'm still going to go State. I'm going to go, yeah, we'll go opposite. And we can go opposite. Washington last week had first and goal at the Colorado three, and Colorado runs that back. My model, Gary, last week, Washington 24, Colorado 21. If Washington doesn't let them run that all the way back, like the fact that Washington allowed an 88-yard fumble return or whatever, <laughs> is that doesn't actually reflect on their defense. Their defense is not that much worse. Like yeah. they should have won that game last week by what I expected them to do. So I mean, they're, and that's that's the issue, right? A lot of games this year they should have won, and turnovers cost. So, so I'm almost expecting it. Although you can't really toss them into advanced stats because of the luck factor, you, there's no real way to measure that analytically. But I'm, I, I just, just, I just say their drives, their drives in. Like I look at the quality, <laughs> the quality possession rate, and so if you, you know, turnovers that factors in there too. Yeah, no, that that certainly makes sense. 
Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.